Hello, everyone. Welcome to our next session of Meet the Members of Empower Africa. My name is Shai Bernstein. I'm VP of Business Development and Partnerships in Empower Africa. And we're having more and more of these because our business community is growing by the day. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, Empower Africa is a business community with a mission to drive investment, trade, and job creation in Africa. We believe in trade over aid and that business is the best way to grow, build, and create sustainable and scalable solutions. We believe in bringing good people together in the power of synergy. That's where the magic happens. Our goal is to create connections, optimize communication, and maximize on the collaboration. The business community brings together entrepreneurs, SMEs, investors, banks, PEs, VCs, multinational enterprises, government officials, nonprofits, everyone to one table to enhance the communication and collaboration. Speaking of bringing good people together, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome Derek Jason Bossman, founder and chief digital strategist of Adsbrook. Derek, thanks for joining us today. It's my pleasure, Shai. It's my pleasure. Please tell us a bit about yourself. We started talking before. You mentioned you were born in Holland. Please tell us about yourself. Yes. So, uh, um, yeah, I was born and raised in the USA, um, Harlem, New York, uh, where my family and I lived till I was about uh, 15, 16. And, uh, you know, we're, we're in a pretty rough neighborhood. So um, my parents decided it was time to, to, to relocate, you know, back home and, you know, raise the family there, you know, safer grounds and all that. So anyway, uh, I came to came to Ghana with with my siblings. So I have a brother, an older brother, and two younger sisters. Um, came here in about uh, 1999 into 2000. You know, just at the turn of the millennium. Um, did a bit of uh, high school. Uh, completed my first degree over here, and then went to do my master's uh, back in the U.S. Um, after um, at, at which time, you know, I was I was I was pretty interested in, in coming back to start a business, you know, to, to, to do something over here. So, uh, you know, to cut a long story short, you know, I started, I started Asbrook sometime in 2012, you know, sometime in 2012, you know, and, uh, you know, 10 years later, this is, this is where we are, you know, I'm still in Ghana, you know, the business is growing and thriving and, you know, we've been able to do some pretty good things over here. Fantastic. Wow. So, um, you know, I, I mentioned to you before, and then I'll just explain why, because I'm meeting so many wonderful people mm -hmm. and it's just fascinating to hear, you know, people's stories, personal stories and personal journeys, right? Where they're from and so on. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little bit about Asbrook. Okay. So um, Asbrook has been a number of things over the years. Initially, we started out as, a, as an advertising network, you know, uh, focused on Africa. So um, at the time we, we, we set up the company, myself and my co-founder, um, we, we, we noticed that, you know, the digital space was beginning to, to grow, to boom. And uh, there were not a lot of aggregators on the continent. So there was, I mean, Google, Google was here. Facebook was, was you know, just starting to make some inroads. But we wanted to be an, an aggregator of, you know, the, the local websites that, you know, um, companies could come to and, 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 and place ads on. You know, uh, website owners could come to us, and then you know they, they get paid to, to to place ads on the websites and stuff like that. Right. Um, I mean, we proved the business model, but over time, when we launched it in Ghana and Nigeria, we ran up against a few challenges. Um, so you know, we uh, you know we hit some snags, you know, we hit some roadblocks, and we had to you know pivot the business model. So as it is right now, we are a digital agency with a focus on artificial intelligence. So what we do is um, we're still in the business of, you know, placing ads on, on websites and, you know, social media platforms and all that. But we focus a lot on performance, right? So we tell brands that, you know, um, when you're running campaigns, instead of looking for, like, impressions and clicks and viewers and engagement and stuff like that, you know, we could help you get, you know, uh, what, what should be your ROIs, you know, revenue, downloads, subscriptions, and things like that. Right. right, and we 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 have developed in house a secret source for that, um, which is which is our algorithm that can take you know consumer data or campaign data, and right. filter it down to to basically tell you the brand what your ideal customers are, you know, so that when you're running your campaign, your targeting is on point. That's what we that's what we started doing about for about uh, three four years now because quite simply the market has been saturated with you know all these digital agencies you know social media agencies and whatnot and we wanted to stand I wanted to create a solution that actually speaks to 
um, brands needs. So um, that is currently what the company is doing right now. And, uh, you know, so far we've had a lot of successes. We've had a lot of uh, different brands, big right. brands, small brands and all that. And we are, we are pretty excited for the future. That's awesome. Good on you. I mean, you're mentioning, you know, the, the pivoting and whatnot. It's the nature of the beast, right? I mean, you're I mean to yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. The, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not alone. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, <laughs> many no, no, really. I, I've, first of all, I've been, you know, the Israeli high tech ecosystem for the past decade or so. Right. I, I, I've been through it myself, seen it myself. And so I have mm -hmm. so many friends, whether mm -hmm. they're, you know, founders and entrepreneurs or investors, mm -hmm. I just see it all the time. Um, okay, great. So, um, who would you like to connect with within the Empower for Business community and in general? I mean, basically everybody. I mean, you know, initially when I when I started the journey, I was I was pretty big on networking. You know, I would I would go to all all the available local events. You know, and you know, let me just mention this: my 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 educational background is in uh, technology. So I had my first degree in information technology, uh -huh. and my second degree in software engineering. Right. So I'm a pretty I used to be a pretty techie person. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would go to all the local events, you know, uh, uh, developer congresses, meetups, you know, uh, uh, hackathons and all that, you know, just to just to get a feel for the space, in, right? And obviously, you know, being who I am, I just feel like you know, um, marketing is universal. You know, there is no, there is no, there is no uh, facet of the industry or any industry that does not know that cannot do with marketing. So basically, I'm open to meeting with everyone. Um, NGOs, nonprofits, you know, uh, uh, manufacturing companies, you know, just basic business people, you know, um, um, politicians, perhaps, you know, yeah, I mean, any any member of the community is is is, is who I would I would have the pleasure. Okay, okay. Yeah. wonderful, great, great. And to sum things up, I always like to ask the guests to share a quote or a saying. You know, I've thought about this long and hard, but I guess my my favorite quote would be um, one of my favorite authors, Frank Hubbard. He's a, he's a science fiction writer. Uh, he has a quote that goes, um, I shall not fear, fear is the mind killer. Um, it's a bit long, but at the end of it, and when my fear is gone, I'll turn back and look at it and only I shall remain. This kind of epitomizes my journey you know, over the years. It's, it's, wow. it's been about a decade since I started coming. There's been highs, there's been lows. You know, I've been broke, like flat broke a couple of times, wow. but through it all, I've been able to, to hold on and this is this is this is something that you know just summarizes my journey over the last few years. Wow, wow, you inspired <laughs> me, man. <laughs> right, Thanks, Eric. Flash, Eric. Eric, pleasure to have you here. Uh, stay safe and healthy. Pleasure, pleasure to see you. All right, have a good one. Cheers. Okay, all right, man. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.